Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. So we're gonna be trying out Elf's new CC cream that I've been seeing all over YouTube. I thought, okay, everyone's doing this. Let me try it out for my skin. My skin type is dry skin. I do have oily T-zones, so my nose and my forehead do tend to get oily, but everything else on my face is super dry. If you have yet subscribed to my channel and joined our family here, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so that way you are notified every time I post up a brand new video. So if you wanna see if this product has worked out for me or not, you have to keep on watching, so let's just get on to the video. Now, I did notice that this CC cream isn't available in drugstores, at least not yet. I believe they're gonna be coming out with the CC cream next year. I don't know when next year. I had to get it online. Now, because I've never used the CC cream before or I've never shopped for a foundation online, I had to go through the little fine shade that they have available for you so I always use the NYX Born to Glow Radiant foundation and I am in the color Carmel so this is what I went off by and so they said that I would be in the shade 330W so we're just gonna open this So this is what the CC cream is looking like. And like I said, I was really concerned with the foundation that they recommended me to get. Like it looks so much lighter than my skin complexion. So I don't know how this is gonna go for me. So it's saying to apply one pump of the CC cream to clean skin using our e.l.f. brush, which I did also purchase. So this is what it looks like. It does have for like your foundation to apply and then Supposedly this is to be like for your concealer. So the next thing that I got was this lash mascara called the Lash It Loud Volumize Mascara in black. I'm gonna use their brush that they recommended but I also wanted to use my sponge. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just prime the whole face and I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Putty Primer, which is my favorite primer to use. And I've already done my eyebrows off camera I didn't clean them up like I normally do, but we'll just do that later. So the one thing that I wanted to see with the CC cream is I want to see if it does cover up my little scars from picking at pimples that you should not do. Um, this is normally how I get after picking out my pimples um so i'm trying to get the habit out of popping pimples that i see right away because it's a really bad habit and then i get these ugly scars i'm gonna swatch this on my hand because i just really want to see if this is my actual shade and if it oxidized so again this looks way too light yeah this is too light Oh God. <sighs> Is it gonna oxidize? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. Now again, I did use the Find My Shade because I've never shopped online for foundation. Because I'm scared to because I'm normally really hard to have a foundation really match me um, and I put there that I use the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Foundation and I'm in the color Carmel and I'll show you guys a picture right here on it telling me that my shade would be 330W which is obviously not my shade I kept going towards 355W because I felt like for me that was gonna be my perfect shade now we're gonna do this side just gonna put one pump and my pump does not seem to be working oh god Okay, Elf. And now we're gonna go ahead with my sponge and blend this out to see which 
side looks better. I look like a ghost right now. We're gonna go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer uh, Medium Beige. This looks more like my skin color than the damn CC cream. So, um, yeah, I don't like this at all. So, we're gonna go ahead and clean up my eyebrows. Yeah, this looks more like my color than the damn. Oh, okay. Um... It's okay, not every video is gonna be a success. It's fine, it's fine. Oh my God, the foundation looks so bad. <sighs> okay. So we got that out of the way and now we're just gonna go ahead and use the medium sand to do my under eyes. I already know you guys, this is not looking right, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and work with what we got cause, okay. So we're gonna use this, uh, might as well just take this brush and just use that upward. So we're gonna go ahead and use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer in the color Deep Cinnamon. Like that. Hopefully this brings back color to my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my eyes. I'm gonna go in with the new e.l.f. Lashes Loud Volumizing Mascara. We're gonna go ahead and crimp our lashes first before applying the mascara. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and apply. I am gonna say, I do like the brush of this because I'm noticing it separate my lashes. So I do like that, it looks nice. Um, but obviously I don't see a major difference with my lashes, my real ones, cause that's why I like to put falsies. They give me more to the face than my regular lashes. My lashes, my real ones don't like to cooperate with the lash crimper. They just don't stay up. I've always had issues with that, but I just did one layer and it looks fine. That's what I'm gonna use. I don't really see a major difference to like be like, wow, I'm gonna use this instead of my regular go-to. So because everything else that I typically use on my face is an e.l.f., I decided I would just finish up the face. But I didn't set up my face yet, like using my normal setting spray. I did pick up the e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist up to 16 hour wear. So this is how it looks like. Pro tip, due to nature of the formula, some clogging might occur. Run mist under warm water to release formula. So first off, nobody got time for that, okay? I just want a mist to set my face, that's it. All right, so first off, the smell of this is phenomenal. It smells so good. Um, and the mist is really soft on the skin. It's 6.13 p.m. I, I'm gonna leave this makeup on for as long as I can. All right, you guys, so I have my PGs on. I'm ready to go to bed. I'm just gonna take off my jewelry, my makeup. So I wanted to finish off this video now because honestly, I'm probably gonna forget and then it's just gonna be like, what it, whoa, what did I do the video for? So it's honestly taking everything in me not to spray my face with something because I feel really dry. The only thing that I did put um, is lipstick because I was super dry on my lips, but it's currently 11-11. I've been wearing this for a while. 
I typically don't wear makeup this long unless I'm out, but I'm not out, I'm just home. So I just wanted to show you guys up close how it's looking. So, first thing, I feel super dry, like I've mentioned, but also I noticed that it doesn't cover much of anything when it comes to my flaws here. Like you could still see every little spotting that I've like basically had a pimple and popped it myself. Um, and also when I am up close, I notice dry spotting here. And then I notice all of my little baby beauty marks. The only one that I normally show is this big one because I mean, it's big, like you can't cover that, but I could see my other little ones over here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see it. Yeah. And you could see like dark spots on top of that being my little like issue here also that this shade is seriously not even close to my skin complexion for my personal experience on using the find my shade from elf i wouldn't give it my full trust on that because this did not suit my skin at all it wasn't for me i mean it looks okay here but it's just it's not for me because I went downstairs after doing my makeup and my husband asked me what what did I use on my face because it looks different. And if he noticed, then you know it's wrong. Cause I mean, what guy really notices? Not mine. Um, it does suit other people. I mean, with the videos that I've seen, people review, they love it. For me personally, I would not splurge $14 on that foundation. I'm gonna stick to my Born to Glow. This is more hydrating for my face and it suits me better. And I don't get these kind of results. So yeah, this foundation, not for me. Last Monday, December 7th, I uh, did a video announcing that I was going to do a little giveaway. So this is my giveaway winner. Thank you so much for joining me and being a part of my little family here. There will be more giveaways, so make sure you stay tuned and just be a part of my little family here. But I will let you guys know ahead of time if you don't follow me on Instagram when my next giveaway will be. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye! Thank mm -hmm. you.